and it's a warm welcome once again to the studios of BRTK in Left Gosha. My name is John Gazi and I'm your host for a cup of conversation on BRT2 TV. This week my guests are from the Kyrene Cosmopolitan Rotary Club and we'll be talking about the club and about Rotarians and about their wonderful work on today's programme. I'm very honoured to have a very distinguished guest or two on the programme. I have Mr. Hakka Muftizadeh and also I have uh, Deren Farat and together we'll be talking about their involvement with the Rotary. So first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Now, first of all, uh, Mr. Hakim Mufizadeh, it's very lovely to meet you. I've heard of your name. I know that you have represented North Cyprus in London, and I'm very honoured to have you now here as a guest on my Thank programme. You. Thank you. Now, before we talk about Rotary, let's find out more about you. Can you tell us a bit about yourself? You are a businessman. How would you describe yourself, uh, Mr. Mufizadeh? Uh, as the English say, um, I'm jack of all trades. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I joined the, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 1986 as a um, third secretary. Then I moved up to be the minister's uh, advisor. And then I was posted to London as the London representative of the TRNC. On my return from London, I served under the first president, President Tengtash, as his special political affairs advisor. And then the second president uh, asked me to join his team. So I was his special diplomatic affairs advisor until 2010. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have investments. You're quite right uh, saying I'm a businessman as well. Uh, we have a, an apart hotel in, in Kyrenia as, yes. uh, as a business, yes. In the centre of town, I know the, uh, the apartment very well, near where I used to live. So, you know, you are very uh, well knowledge on the Cyprus issue, in politics, in representing our lovely island uh, yes. in the UK. But now you are here as a Rotarian. Yes, yes. And how long have you been involved with the Rotarians? Since uh, 2013. I mean, my late father was also a, a Rotarian. Mm -hmm. But due to the nature of my uh, job, serving under two presidents. I could not be a Rotarian because our working hours were until two, three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So I just couldn't have the time to be a Rotarian. So after I decided to retire in 2010, after that I became a Rotarian. And um, because I regard Rotary work as uh, for the community, for the benefit of the community, and it seems that there's a misconception all over the world about Rotarians, that Rotarians are a rich man's club. And, and that is not the case. I mean, my uh, colleague here is uh, a, a young upcoming lawyer, and she's just started her life. So we cannot call her wealthy in that sense, can mm -hmm. we? Yeah. So Rotarians come from all walks of life, and uh, we're here to serve the community and we will mention in due course the projects that we completed and how we are contributing to the well-being of the, the community. We have a lot to talk about, so let's also say hello to Deren for that. Hello Deren, welcome Hi. to the show. Thank you. Now, as Mr. Mutazade said, you are a lawyer. Yes. Are you, he said you are new. Are you recently graduated? Not recently graduated. I graduated in 2012. Uh, mm-hmm. Then I went and completed my postgraduate studies in Glasgow University in the field of criminology and criminal justice. But I am a very new practicing lawyer now, working in a very vibrant uh, law office here. Congratulations. Kassia, thank you. Good luck with that. Thank you. And so uh, you are Turkish Cypriot. Yes, I am. And you, now we know that you are a lawyer as well. Yes. How long have you been involved with Rotary? I'm a former, former Rotary actor. Ah. Yes, and I'm a Rotarian since uh, February 2017, yes. this year. It has been 10 months in Rotary as a Rotarian. Okay, is that because of the, the age? You went from Rotaract yes. to... I I'm not going to mention your age, I know that you are very, very young, but I was a Rotaract as well, and yes. Rotaract is the, the younger version yes. um, of Rotarians, and I was actually uh, a Rotaractor many, many years ago as well. Uh, a great group and so you are now part of the 
Rotarians. This is the Kyrenia Cosmopolitan yes. Rotary Group. Yes. And uh, I want to say a big thank you to Mrs. Uh, Gultach, yes. uh, because she is the one who organised this interview today. So a big thank you to, to Gultach, or, or Rose as she is known yes. in the English community as well. So um, let me go back to you, Mr. Hakim Zadeh. You had some more free time yes. after all your diplomatic work. So why, you said that your father was a Rotarian. Did you want to continue in his footsteps? And you know, why Rotary? Well, because Rotary is a charity and we work for the benefit of the community. Mm -hmm. So uh, my wife is also a Rotarian and, and together we're contributing to the well-being of our community. Uh, for instance, uh, I can mention the Kyrenia Liman Club. When we were there, mm -hmm. we raised 28,000 euros for a minibus for the diabetics to be taken to the hospital for treatment mm -hmm. from all over uh, the Kyrenia area. And, and, and that, I, I think, is a big contribution that that club made to the community, collecting uh, uh, patients for the, uh, I think the dialysis, uh, yes, dialysis. yeah, not diabetics, uh, dialysis mm -hmm. unit in Kyrenia. And they needed that vehicle. It has a lift as well for those in a wheelchair. So uh, that was a very big project, and we completed that in six months. Fantastic. Yes, yes. I know that uh, when I was a Rotaractor, um, again, we used to hold events, we used to raise money for projects. Yes. Um, our project at the time was to make a children's park mm. in, in the Guinea area. So, you know, you, I think that we can say that Rotary likes to serve the public. Yes, yes of course. Give. Yes, of course. I mean, I, I can actually read out the, um, the Rotary's areas of focus. Please do. And then I can give you examples of what Rotary in other parts of the world have done and what we have done as well. We will go on to that. Okay. Uh, Rotary's areas of focus are maternal and child health, basic education and literacy, economic and community development, peace and conflict prevention and resolution, disease prevention and treatment, water and sanitation. With disease prevention and treatment, uh, Rotary has contributed uh, more than a billion dollars to eradicate polio. Mm -hmm. And we're doing our part as a club. We have barbecue events and we have other events to contribute to, to polio. Uh, every contribution we make, uh, Bill Gates pays in twice as much as I understand. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, polio is almost eradicated in the world. I think there are some 10 or 12 cases now in Syria. But apart from Syria, there may be uh, one or two other countries, but it's almost eradicated. So uh, thanks our, to Rotary. Yes, our contribution to that eradication of, of, of polio. Uh, water and sanitation mm -hmm. in, in Lebanon the Lebanese clubs managed to get a grant of, I think in the region of three million uh, US dollars or, or euros from Rotary International to give service to all the schools so that they would have fresh water, clean water. Yeah. So all the schools in Lebanon through Rotary now have water that they can drink, the children can drink at school. So this is the contribution of Rotary in, in Lebanon. And, and we will go on to explain our, our projects and uh, what we have done and what we propose to do in the future. Very interesting, very uh, important news. Mm. In fact, uh, I know that the you know, Rotary is a big family uh, around the world. Of course. And with thousands of millions of members. And I know that maybe if you go from one country to another country, you can join another Rotary group yes, of in course. your local area, yes. which is very, very important to know. Um, then I would like to ask you, when you became a Rotaract, I mean, did you have friends who were Rotaractors? How did you get involved at such a young age with something like this? I had friends 
we were Rotaract stories and one day we were sitting together and they were preparing a project for Rotary, for Rotary and I asked a question why to join Rotaract and Rotary and they explained me and they standed on that why actually to stay in Rotary and that was my point to join to decide to join Rotary because they are really serving the community and we need this yeah. That's, that's the day I decided to join Rotaract and now I'm a, I'm a Rotarian, I'm very proud of it. You're very happy to be a Rotarian yes. as well now. Yeah. You know, um, you, you must be very busy in your own professional life. Yes, I am, yes. But you also have time now uh, to, to support Rotary because it is actually very, when you have a project going on, it's actually quite demanding. You need to be of course. working, doing your part. Everyone is given a job, delegated things to do. So it's not an easy thing to be part of. Um, also, I remember that before, you have to be nominated to be a, a, a Rotaract or a Rotarian. Yes. You have to attend a number of meetings. meetings. And then, if everyone is happy, you are initiated into the, into the club. Yes. Is that right? Is, is, yes. 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 is that how it works still? Yes, well, actually we have two prospective m members right now mm -hmm. um, and they are attending to our club meetings, weekly meetings and after attending four meetings and they, they, be, they will be nominated by a Rotarian mm -hmm. and then if accepted by the board they become a member of yes. us. Yes. How many Rotarians now, because I think this group, the, um, the Kyrene Cosmopolitan group, it's quite new, isn't it? It's not yes. a very old Rotarian group, is very it? Very new. Chartered on the 3rd of January this year. Yes. Right, so yeah, very new. Nearly, nearly a year old. Right. How many members do you have now? Currently 28 mm -hmm. and two prospective. And we have an equal gender distribution too, 14 men, 14 women. Ah. And with all ages. Between 24 to 85, 86. But we, we have the, the youngest group of... Uh, uh, Rotarians. Yes. Think, yeah. Yes, we are the young, uh, second youngest in our district. In our district. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Very good. Well, I wish you all the best for uh, this uh, group, the Rotary, the um, Kyrene Cosmopolitan Rotary Group. Now, coming back to uh, your projects, because you do a lot of work, yes. Yes. and you must also have fundraising events to raise yes. money. Yes. So, can you tell us a bit about since January, since the establishment of the Korean Cosmopolitan. What have you achieved so far? What have you? What, what we have achieved is um, we have had uh, quite a few uh, events to contribute to the ongoing projects. Mm -hmm. um, we had barbecues, uh, fellowship dinners, and uh, w w whatever. And um, the, the the main thing is the disabled school in Lefke uh, Güzelyurt mm -hmm. near the CMC. Uh, Golf, mines. golf course, mines golf course. Golf. Mm -hmm. uh, there, an extension is being built for these children, which uh, will be a playing area for the winter also. Mm. So it's an extension that we're going to be building for them, and they will have all the facilities to, to play there. So it's an ongoing project. Uh, we had a golf course, a golf tournament for this mm. aim. And I think we raised about what 13 13,000 13, Turkish liras Turkish liras in 2 days in, in, in 2 days good. but we we also had other occasions where we raised yes we had sponsors sponsors we 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 had sponsors that uh, I suppose I shouldn't mention their names here you can of course yes but I, I, if I can um, yeah. uh, I'll the help sponsors you. were uh, Combos yes uh, Almost uh, Colon British Hospital, Hospital yes. Oreo um, Limited, and uh, Royal Estates, and, and of course Merit, uh, Merit uh, group. group of hotels, Merit uh, International Group, and then few others we we may have omitted to to mention, but um, I mean thirteen thousand Turkish liras in two days uh, for a, an association, it's very for a club is is very good. We we have some more. Uh, in the account for the the school and it's an ongoing project so we hope next year to be able to complete the project and have all the facilities for the children to be able to play in the winter as well yes. uh, the, the the children uh, we were really moved because they gave us a concert 
at the golf uh, tournament. Mm. Brilliant. They they are very very intelligent. Uh, although they have disabilities, they were very jovial. But I was really moved. I mean, we had tears in our eyes watching them give us that uh, concert, especially the, the young girl yes. who could not speak and who could not hear, understand. Mm -hmm. She performed a song with her hands and... Uh, with sign language. Sign language. Oh. It was really moving. It was really Lovely. moving. So, um, uh, I mean, th this is uh, one of the projects that we have. Another one is uh, we have a food bank that we contribute to uh, destitute family through FCAF. Mm -hmm. This is FCAF's project and we're contributing together with FCAF for uh, a destitute family. We, we take food to them almost every week or every other week. On a regular basis. To, on a regular basis to, to support them in conjunction with, with, with FCAF Foundation. Uh, we have a uh, tree planting project. Yeah. Yeah. And now our district is organizing a tree planting event and this is really important because um, this, this tree planting project will be held on the same day at the same time by the all Rotary Clubs in Cyprus, both in North and South. Mm. And this will be held on 20, 25th of February next year and to raise awareness in planting trees. And this is a really great project, I believe. And um, the mayor of Asenjek municipality provided us a great place at their newly built recreation area and we will be organizing our planting event in that area it's very exciting for us we also have collective cups project and this is a project where we help um, to, uh, Cyprus Circus Orthopedic Disabled Association. We collect the blue tops, bottle tops, mm -hmm. and we present them to the association. And it's important to say that each vehicle wheelchair costs 500 Turkish liras, and it's one TL per kilo. So every five, 500 kilos is five Turkish, 500 Turkish liras. So it's every cup matters actually. So we're doing this yeah. as an ongoing project. It's very good. But we, we've already contributed, I think, two or three chairs Real already. Chairs, yes, or already. Or maybe a, a bit more or four. Yes. Yeah. I know that, I mean, we, we all drink water and those cup, those, um, yes. you know, the, the, we should all save them. Yes. And don't right. throw the, the, right. the tops away because, like you say, everyone uh, it contributes and we can raise money for a wheelchair. Yes. Amazing. Yes. How do you decide which projects to help? Because I mean, you know, you've got a, a diverse, right. Uh, right. you know, range of projects from the disabled children to tree planting to wheelchairs. Do people present you with projects, or well, do you choose your own? We we discuss it at the the board. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we consult. I mean, for instance, we ask the uh, Kyrene Hospital to tell us what their need was, and it was the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, we, we do ask now and again, uh, for instance, EFCAF and other institutions. In this case, it's the Al Sanjak municipality. They now understand uh, considering of building a, um, on an Olympic uh, size swimming pool mm. for the recreation centre. Yes. And we're, we're thinking of actually uh, sponsoring that as well. So we, we could contribute to that. We could even get a grant from Rotary International for for that uh, purpose. Mm. So um, our uh, areas of interest uh, are varied. The committee um, makes the decision. The, committee the, comes the, together. the, the, the board the board decides. Uh, it is put to the board by the members mm -hmm. yes. or the president. They fill a project proposal. Yeah, and the board decides. Mm. That's very interesting. Yeah. And again. Once it's voted upon, then you start action. Yes. And we, we, we plan the events. Uh -huh. We have a timetable. And we go according to the timetable to uh, fulfill what is uh, needed for the project to be completed. So we, we work very hard, I can tell you. I mean, it's, yeah. uh, I mean although it is in our, uh, spare time and we're all volunteers, it's a lot of hard work. I mean. I can say that Darren, uh, during the day, I mean, I think she must spend on average five or six hours on uh, Rotary at least. Yes. I mean, at, wow. some, at some weekends, <laughs> she had her hands full with the newsletter, 
Yeah. We, we have a newsletter that comes out uh, every month. Yeah, oh. I can send you one. She can uh, yes, send please you do send one. Yeah. one. And, yes. and uh, it's a uh, beautiful um, couple of pages with all our events and photographs. Right. And, and she's uh, doing that for us. Uh, but it's, it's a, it's a full-time job. Is that online or do you print the, uh, the newsletter? I also publish it online. Mm -hmm. We can print it as well. Uh -huh. That's very good. So um, we'll give out the information about how to contact you and how to get newsletters from you at the end of the interview. But then I would like to ask you, you know, for you, as like uh, Mr. Mr. Sander said, you know, you're spending time, your own personal time on Rotary, but it's very rewarding, isn't it? When you see what you are achieving, what you're doing, it's a, it, but it's another full-time job, isn't it, in a way? No, it's a voluntary work, actually, and it's, it's also a teamwork. Yeah. We all together make good for the community. And as you mentioned, it's a, a, an award. I would like to mention about RILA, which is Rotary Youth Leadership Awards. And I will be attending on behalf of my club mm. with the dates of 1st and 3rd December this year. And this is a great event where young adults between 17 and 30, as I am 28, uh, 27 years old, this is an award for the young ones' past and present leadership and service activities. So my club actually rewarded me with this great event and I will be attending to this. Congratulations. Raila, thank you. She, she will be going to Egypt. Yes. Wow. It will be held in Luxor, Egypt. Yes. Very nice. Yes. Very good. Well, well done. And you, know, you, you are putting North Cyprus on the map, yes. uh, on the Rotary map at least as well. I know there are many groups. There are various Rotary groups around the islands, yes. uh, north and south. Lots of groups here. Uh, yours is probably what, the newest one. We are, uh, yes. We're, we're, we're uh, the only English-speaking Rotary club in the north. Yes. They have some cosmopolitan clubs in the south. Um, our aim was to actually attract the English-speaking uh, residents of the TRNC. Yeah. Because for them it's important that the club speaks in English. Because otherwise you would have to translate everything. Yeah. And it's very arduous to, to have to translate everything. Difficult, yeah. yeah. So we, we thought we would reach out to them and get their help as well. And uh, I, I think it has worked out. So the meetings are held in English? All the meetings yes. are held in English, uh, board meetings are held in English, yes. and uh, everybody speaks English. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I'm glad to say that we have many English members, some Dutch and others. From France? Yes. yes. Yeah. Very good, very cosmopolitan, very, yes, really. very unique uh, in North Cyprus. So where do you meet, how often do you meet? Dylan, can you tell us about your meetings? Yes, we meet every second and fourth Saturday of each month at 2.30 uh, p.m at Merritt Park Hotel in Carinia. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is where we meet, actually. So if somebody wanted to become a Rotarian, if they're interested, they have to know somebody who is already a Rotarian, is that right? Or how does it work? Let's say somebody out there watching now doesn't know anybody from Rotary, Rotary but would like to join you. Can they come and meet you at one of your meetings and maybe see what's going on? How does they, it work? They, they can do. I mean, they can contact us uh, because we're on the Facebook as well. We have a website. Yes, we have. They, they can contact us. They can send an email to our secretary mm -hmm. by saying, um, uh, I would like to attend a meeting and to, to know how Rotary works and maybe I would like to join Rotary at a later stage. Mm -hmm. So they, through that, they can come to a meeting. Because there might be somebody, maybe who has come from England or America or from a foreign country, who was a Rotary, who was yes. a Rotarian in their own country, right. and would now like to continue that. Yes, uh, the, here as well. They, they can transfer. I think. Yes, they? They, they they can also follow the Cyprus scene, which has a website, mm -hmm. and it's published uh, and updated all the time. Yeah. And there they give us space as well with uh, information about our club. They can they can see our events there as well. But the, the shortest route is through our secretary, because her email is there. They can get in touch through the secretary, and then they can come to our meeting. I know that there is a rotation basis for your chairman, vice chairman, yes. secretary, uh, treasurer. And at the moment, you are currently? I, I'm, I'm, I'm a past president, and then I'm now the incoming president because the incoming president lady decided not to be uh, the president next year. Right. So uh, 
they've asked me and uh, I, I've accepted. So you are going to be president? For the second time. For the second time next yes. year? Next year, yes. When does the changeover ceremony? In June. In June. In June. In June. June. And um, uh, I will have my team, of course. Yeah. But uh, what we're now trying to do is to get the, the young generation uh, to have experience like that Darren who's got a great potential within the club. Mm -hmm. So she will move up the ladder and become the president hopefully within the next couple of years. So right. we are going to take the back seat, hand over to them and enjoy life more. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll be there to advise. Yes, yes <laughs> but is that, is, that, is the way it, that is the way it, sh it should work. Yeah. Because uh, they have more energy and they, they will have uh, the incentive and um, I'm sure they will do a great job. Of course. So we, we, we have quite a few young uh, members and in fact uh, one of the young members who was a Rotaract as well, uh, I proposed to him to become the next incoming president and he has accepted and we shall announce that at our um, assembly on the 9th of uh, December. December. Yes, right. so we, we have quite a few young, talented uh, Rotarians who can overtake from us. Yeah. So our job will be completed once they take over, and we will be there in an advisory capacity. Excellent. Great teachers yes. and great future with yes. these wonderful yes. youngsters. That is the way it should be. Yes. That is the way it mm -hmm. should be. Yes. When do you become a Rotarian from a Rotaract? What, what's the age where you cut off? You are no longer a road track, but you can become a road terrorist, is it? No limit. No, no there limit. is no limit, no but limit. it used to be 30 yeah. for becoming Rotarian, but, no. but I am 27. But you became Rotarian? I became Rotarian. A little bit earlier than normal. Yes, <laughs> and I am waiting my turn yes. to become the, the president, actually, but I, I want to spend some more time in Rotary uh, at the, the different positions bec be before becoming the president, actually. Mm. So I'm the executive secretary right now. Right. And for his term, I will be the chair of administration and PR committee. Oh, we have committees, by the way. Yes, different committees for different duties. Yes. 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 It's very, very serious. I know. I mean, I know a lot about Rotary and Rotor actors. And I know a lot about what's going on, and it's a very, very well organised, very efficient, uh, very important group. I think because, like your projects show you're doing a lot of good things for the community yes. not just yes. here but worldwide supporting right. Right. international rotary yes. projects yes. as well so it's a very important thing one thing i like about rotary is that you've got people from different backgrounds coming together people who don't normally of course mix with each other yes yes you have a, a you know different nationalities and different backgrounds you're you are um, a lawyer we have diplomat businessman and as you said jack of all trades yes. Ar architecture <laughs> um, architect we have Gültach, yes. our current president. Who else yeah. do you have? What type of other people do you have on, uh, on your, uh, in your group? Who else is there uh, in the we background? We have people from all walks of life. I mean, we have a, 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 a life retired coach. diplomat as well, like diplomat. myself. Architects. Uh, architects. Uh, Academicians. Te teachers. Uh, teachers. teachers. I mean, your, your aunt was Yes, the, my aunt is a teacher. Yeah. So everyone is doing their, their own bit. Yes. Everyone is, you know, given a duty as well. Yes. Which you have yes. to fulfill. Of course. Of I know course. that if you don't um, give a reason for not attending, if you don't attend a certain number of meetings, you are, you know. Yes, that, that I mean. You are, you are dropped. Or that is a bit more flexible now. Is that now? They, yeah, no, no. they uh, accept up to 50% of attendance. Yes. And we have an 85 rule, yes. which means that. If, if a person, if a member is over 85 years old, he is actually doesn't need to come and be present at the meetings. He has an excuse. Mm. We have this rule for the meetings. That, that's uh, the age and the number of years in um, in, in total. Yes. Total, yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's it's flexible. But it's the thing is, yeah. now we're meeting every two weeks, so that works out to be twice a month. Yeah, which is good. Which is good because every Wednesday is, is difficult for working people. So we moved our meetings to a Saturday whereby it's easier. Yeah. Those who work because of the young generation. At least weekend maybe you have more time to be able to yes. attend the meeting. Yes. We also so have makeups. If a member cannot attend to an uh, actual meeting, 
he can also he or she can also attend our events and that will be counted as a makeup yes right. i mean this this uh, today this program yes. could be a makeup for us yes. wouldn't it? because <laughs> yes. we're, we're explaining rotary so we can yeah. sky we can sky yes. we can sky one of the meetings yes of course <laughs> you, you, you can miss one meeting because you did your, your, your pr work yes yeah, so, so it's so flexible yes it, it sounds very interesting it is very good and you are very well organised with your notes. Now, you mentioned, uh, that in about next year, in February, tree planting yes. with the rest of the Rotary Clubs on the island. What else do we have lined up next year? Uh, do we have any more interesting projects you would like to maybe share with us at the moment? Actually, it's or better for Hakabi to mention because he is the incoming president. Would you well, like to share anything with us about yes, next year? Yes, of course. I mean, uh, the, the ongoing project of um, the disabled school we carry on next year as well yeah. because once we complete the the extension we need to have some facilities there for the children to play yes. mm -hmm. so um, then we will need to get them and get the sponsors to continue with the the golf tournament yeah. so that will be ongoing mm -hmm. uh, the Olympic swimming pool we shall consider and decide so that that's on the that will be on the agenda the food bank will be on the agenda and then our commitment to Rotary International um, polio polio and other payments foundation and other payments that uh, we can make so we, we, we will have a spectrum of uh, things that we have to complete therefore we're going to have fellowship weekends branches maybe a trip abroad because this, this, I think this year and, and, and next year, I think next year we're planning maybe a visit to uh, Europe and one to Gaziantep for the English-speaking Rotarians yeah. because they all know uh, Europe, but they don't know Gaziantep, for instance. <laughs> Gaziantep is a very uh, interesting uh, historical city of Turkey because it has one of the world's biggest mosaics museum. Zogma Museum. So, yeah. uh, when we went there, went there, it was closed. It was closed actually when we went there as a group. I went there recently. It's yeah. so funny you mentioned this, uh, yeah. Akabe, because um, last week uh, I took my family. We went to Gaziantep for two or three yeah. days, and the Zogma Mosaic Museum is fantastic. Did you put on weight while you were there? Because yes, I, I, mean... put on, I put on. <laughs> I, I, I had too many uh, baklavas and, uh, and the um, wonderful and the, food. And the food, wonderful and the food. food. But it's but a very interesting, mm. very good idea yes. because, like you say, a lot of people know about the major European towns, exactly. or maybe they know Istanbul and Ankara. Mm. But every corner of Turkey, I think, is of beautiful. Course, of course, of course, amazing. So of a very course. good idea, definitely we, a trip to Gaziantep. Is, we, is we actually we uh, the Liman as well. We arrange trips to Turkey, and of course there are some parts of Turkey that is a must. I mean Pamukkale. Yes and uh, a few other places where you, you really Ephes. have to... Ephes, for instance, Cappadocia, Ooh. the Black Sea area of Turkey. I, mean, the, the, I don't know whether you've been to the Black Sea area. I haven't been there, no. I've been to Cappadocia, but I haven't yes. been to the Black Sea. Yeah. But lots of... I mean, the thing about... The good thing about your group, which is multicultural, is that maybe you can learn from each other. Of we've course. got the, you know, the Turkish Cypriot culture, yes, we've got of course. British, French or American or of course. German, whatever. Of course. Your whoever your members are, they are you know, bringing their culture with you. So it's very interesting to learn from each other. I'm sure the, the meetings are very interesting like that. We're, so. we're like the, uh, the United States. I mean, <laughs> we're in a pot and um, all the nations in there. Yeah. Sometimes, of course, you can have clash of uh, <laughs> cultures as well. Of course. So but uh, we, we manage that smoothly yeah. uh, by explaining the, the Turkish culture, mm. which is, of course, different from English culture. Yeah. But uh, we, we manage. You get manage. there together in the end. As long as there's goodwill, you, you manage it. Yeah, I'm sure there is goodwill. Now, before, uh, before we end the interview, I want to ask you, um, would you like to share anything? Is there anything that you would like to mention to our viewers about uh, the Rotary Club, the Kyrenia Cosmopolitan Rotary Group. There any, any final comments you would like to make? Uh, yes, please join our Facebook group, mm -hmm. and you can have all the information about our club. And you will you will find there our hotmail address ma for mailing. And if you have any further questions, anybody they can send us an email or they can send a message to our Facebook 
group and I am the one in charge. I will be the respondent person. Right. It will be great if more people can join us. So are you looking for more members? You would like to increase the... Yes, always. I mean, you've got a good number already, 30, nearly 30, yes. um, before the end of the first year. So maybe 2018, you'll have more and more members coming. Yes, yes, we, we, hope. To have we hope. I mean, yeah. ideally, we'd like to go plus 40 and even 50, yes. which yeah. would be very nice. But I would like to mention yes. the, the countries within the district, because we're in district 2452, mm -hmm. with Lebanon, of course, Cyprus, Jordan, Sudan, Bahrain, United Arab Emirates, Georgia, Armenia, and, and Palestine. And uh, in February next year, there's a presidential conference in Beirut, mm. where the club is also attending that conference, which is going to be very, very important, because the Lebanese uh, Rotarians are one of the best in the world in getting grants. They know how to fill in a form <laughs> and how to manage to get the grants and how to have twin clubs oh. to get uh, their contribution as well. So that would be uh, a very valuable experience for us because they know the job very well. They know how to get grants. So I thought that. So I'd maybe they could twin with you, with your group. They, they, they mentioned at the la one of the last conferences that they would be more than willing to come and help us uh, finalize the uh, the grant form. So mm. when we come up with a with a project, hopefully for next year, then we can get them to to help us fill in the form because they know exactly because there are certain uh, parts of the uh, the questionnaire that has to be uh, very succinctly answered. Mm. So they, they know all the, the tricks, let's the say. Tricks. Ah, yes. very good. So, you know, what with international and then of course the, the, your group here, with all the countries you mentioned, all the lovely uh, neighbours of mm. Cyprus, um, it really is a great opportunity to, to learn a lot, to help of your course. community of course. and to, to make good friendship as well. Of course, and, and, and of course while doing all this, the, the Turkish Cypriot identity also comes up. And our culture, we explain that we're part of Cyprus mm -hmm. and that that's important as well. Very good, very important. Then and finally, if you could just share with us again the uh, website name and also the email address. Do you have uh, yes, the information, have. please? Uh, for mailing, you can use rckyreniacosmopolitan at hotmail.com and you can search our name, Rotary Club of Kyrene Cosmopolitan, on Facebook. Yes. So you're on Facebook as well, so it's easy to yes. find you. Yes, if easy. those of you on social media, you can find yes. uh, the Rotary Club. And like you say, every second and fourth Saturday, of you are month. at the Merit, Merit Park Hotel. Hotel. At what time? 2.30. Um, 2.30. Yeah. So maybe if you're in the area, I mean normally yeah. there are official ways to approach, but if you are in the area, pop in and say hello. Yes. And if there is an event going on for Rotary, then please join them. I'm sure that, you know, with your, um, your newsletter that you have every month, we, you, we can find out what's going on, what's yes. happening and how to contact us while yes. there. And so maybe we can get email from each other. You can send me the newsletter, is that yes, possible? Of course. Yes, and to anyone else, else out Definitely. there. So get onto the mailing list for, for Dead End and uh, she'll send you all the information. But thank you very much for coming in today. Can I just add something before we of finish the program? Um, has Gülta Chandam approached you to come and speak to our club? <laughs> Not yet, no. Well, I'd like to, to <laughs> ask you uh, on her behalf yes. to come and speak to us about uh, journalism, your experience, your um, your um, uh, self, your uh, CV and everything, so that uh, we, we, we can have you as our speaker. Yes. In, uh, Why not? I mean, next year maybe, or yes. if we can okay. program it. Well, this friendship is a good friendship. This I'm more than happy to very good. be a guest of yours. I will be honoured to speak very at good. any of your uh, meetings. Very good. Thank you very much for the invitation. I would like to say good luck for the Rotary okay. for next year. Celebrating your Thank first you. anniversary next year as well. Good luck with becoming the chairman again, the Thank president you. again. Thank you. I'm sure you'll do very well, Mr. Mr. Zadeh. Thank you. And uh, 
Ben as well, good luck with your future Thank in you. the Rotary, and I hope that you will do very well. Thank you for all your work and your hard contributions, uh, your good contributions to life here in all Cyprus. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you. Thank you for having us today. You're more than welcome. Thanks very much. And with that, we've come to the end of a cup of conversation with Mr. Hakka Miftazadeh and Beren Ferrat, both from the Kairini Cosmopolitan Rotary Club. And really, it is a great group to join. If you are thinking of joining them, you know how to find them. Until next time, here at the studios of BRTK in Nefkosha, Take care. Go well. Bye-bye.